I got my first running blade when I was 12 years old. It was a really surreal feeling because it really felt like I had been running on two legs for the first time. I just felt like a lot freer. My name is Marissa Papa Constantino. I'm a Canadian Paralympic track and field athlete and I run the 100 and 200 meter. Canada is home to some really interesting people who are doing some pretty interesting things. Real Canadian Superstore presents real stories from real Canadians. Growing up, I played a lot of different sports. My parents really just encouraged me to try everything and to see what I really liked, but track was always something that I was very infatuated by. I didn't really see myself as having like a disability when I was a kid. I just like participated with everyone else. I was really lucky to grow up in a community that always encouraged me to be involved. And I think it really taught me to never give up and always persevere. I really enjoy being in school for RTA Sports Media, and I'm currently doing my final practicum project. It's about building para-sport from the grassroots level, and I'm really excited about producing a three-part documentary on current Paralympians, uh, influential people in management levels and coaches, and then also talking to young para-athletes and their families on just how they're navigating para-sport, how they're getting involved, and we wanted to share that message and encourage young kids with disabilities to get involved in para-sport. Nutrition is very important. I mean, it's the fuel that fuels this body to be able to run as fast as it possibly can every day, but also uh, being a full-time student, food is fuel for the brain as well. I just think it's important to have everything in moderation. After a race, I'll have an ice cream, you know? I would definitely say my skills in the kitchen are like pretty moderate. I can definitely cook a decent meal, but that comes from like my influence from my parents. I'd give it like an 8.5.